Caroline, here at MWC19, the big theme is obviously 5G. So I'd like you to tell me how you think we can accelerate this journey to 5G. Well, first of all, 5G is not just about smartphones and not just about consumer adoption. So if you want to accelerate 5G adoption, you must talk about enterprise. When you talk about enterprise, you must talk about compute. Guess who decides what to buy in enterprise? CIOs. So you have to make it more IT-like, more cloud-like. So you will seldom hear 5G without edge compute. So 5G edge compute figuring out how to get this into the CIO's hands. How do you attract the uh, uh, developers, the app developers that traditionally does this for enterprise, but now moving them onto 5G, but at the same time, making sure that they don't have to worry about whether it's a 5G or 4G or Wi-Fi, because at the end of the day, it's all about multi-connectivity and using the right connectivity for the right job, for the right amount of latency and compute. And that is a key. So for, in my point, point of view, to do 5G, a uh, uh, 5G adoption, you need to take care of enterprise use, verticals, and making it simple to move software to and develop software on this platform. Caroline, can you tell us about the specific projects you are working on with HPE? So there are some projects we've been working with them on around virtualized RAM, virtualized EPC. We work with them on uh, edge compute. In fact, if you are lucky enough to be at this Mars colony, walk out of this chamber, you see a lot of demonstrations around edge to cloud. So we work with uh, uh, HP or all of their product lines that run on Intel, we make it such that it is uh, NFV adoptable. It's not just for the network, but every single one of that contains this uh, NFVI that can uh, onboard any of the NFVI applications. We are working with them on blockchain, V2X, these are the two new ones among all the others we're working on. We also work strongly with uh, the Aruba team to putting on edge compute onto the Aruba Wi-Fi, which is a very strong presence all over the enterprise. So if you go back to the, what I just said, 5G adoption, it relies on enterprise. So you must look at what enterprise are already using. Instead of making them the change, you change to adopt into the enterprise business practice. So yeah, it's been a great partnership and very profitable, and I hope that we'll continue down the path. Caroline Chan, thank you very much. Thank you.